What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this 2020 Jayco Bungalow. This thing is huge, and wait until you see what's on top of that slide. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so you are looking at what is called a destination model travel trailer. This thing is really designed to be towed out to your lake, placed on the side of it, and kind of left there. It's a cabin. It's a mobile cabin. You put this in place, and you kind of leave it, because this is a huge, huge, huge destination travel trailer to be hauling around. Plus, you can see with all the windows, and there's a ton of them on this thing, that they could easily get damaged if you tow this thing around too much, because the front of it is pretty flat. Let's take a look at the numbers on this Jayco bungalow. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,250 pounds. Rides on twin 6,000 pound axles, giving a total axle rating of 12,000 pounds. 16 inch E-rated tires. This thing is a beast. It has a cargo capacity of 1,024 pounds. So again, very heavy, definitely something that you might wanna take out and leave at a specific site. It is gonna last you a good amount of time as long as you take care of it. Any of these RVs will last you for a good length of time as long as you do proper maintenance, you take care of it, and you fix things and address them as they happen. Anyways, guys, let's take a closer look at some of the things that make this special. First of all, let's look at the frame. So this rides on a 12 inch straight I-beam frame. It has manual scissor style jacks on the front and back to stabilize it. It has rack and pinion slides. Coming around, you can see that this is incredibly tall. And for a travel trailer, it's roughly the same height as this Riverstone fifth wheel that's directly beside it. And that makes it a huge, very, very tall profile travel trailer. You can see you have the back of your hot water heater plus your tank flush, city water connection, and an outside shower. Low point drain is going to be down here. You also have a water fill. This is where you would fill up your water tank for city water. This is going to be storage that is underneath the bed. Coming around here, you have your 50 amp connection there. All LED lighting. It is not wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. It's probably the first time you've heard me say that in a long time. This is a stick and tin unit, which means it is framed out of wood with aluminum siding. So this is framed more like a home might be framed. It's gonna have more residential style insulation in it as well. You have a second entry exit door here, which presumably leads and comes from the bedroom. Coming around, you can see J-Flight Bungalow. This has a two plus three year warranty, two year limited warranty, three year structural warranty. This thing is huge. It really is a enormous, enormous travel trailer. Two propane tanks up front. Just check out the profile of this. Imagine towing this thing behind your truck. That'd be nerve wracking for me. I just want to tow this, get it where it needs to go and leave it there. You can see they put these corner lights above these notches. Anyways guys, let's step inside using the sliding door. So this is the 40 LOFT or 40 loft. The significance of that will be apparent very soon. Check out the interior though. Tell me that is not a cool looking interior. This is absolutely reminiscent of a small cabin. I mean, this is just really nice. You have the nice white wash tones here for your cabinetry in the kitchen, residential refrigerator, lots and lots of countertop space. Coffee station here, countertop space there, huge island with a lot of countertop space here. You have more of that whitewashed effect sprinkled out throughout the coach, including underneath the end tables. It gives it a very residential feel. Let me close this sliding door so it's a little bit quieter when cars go by. You have a very nice dinette. Closing that door really isolated it as well, which means it has pretty good insulation throughout. Very nice residential style fixtures. Check this out. So this doesn't have that leatherette feel. This is more of a cloth type seating, but it feels and looks very comfortable and residential. This is one of the few that I'm gonna sit in just to see. That is an incredibly comfortable chair. This is nice. Plus you can see all your electronic controls. Has a nice love seat here at the end. Huge end tables, check that out. 
typically don't see that on a lot of travel trailers or fifth wheels, period. And that makes it really convenient if you're going to be eating or anything and you need to store something or put it right there, especially if you're going to be working on a laptop. Very large windows, let a lot of lighting in. You have a 50-inch TV, lots of storage space here, nice wide fireplace. Here's your pantry storage. These are going to be about a foot and a half deep. Has a very residential style stove. Again, check out the countertop space next to it. That is a Corian material, plus it has a nice textured backing back here. Full-size residential microwave coming through. That is super cool, isn't it? Imagine if you built like a little patio or a little wooden deck area coming out from here. You have more power here. Small little access hatch here for your controls. I do like how Jayco tries to hide their control panel, so it's not just blatant and obvious stuck to the side of a wall. Plus your slide controls, awning controls. Air conditioning right here. This unit has two air conditioning units. One right there, and then one's going to be in the bedroom. Coming back, one of the nice things about these are just simply how tall they are. You have a tremendous amount of ceiling height. Going into the bathroom. Very, very large bathroom. This is an enormous bathroom. Plenty of headspace in here as well. I really don't even need to mention how tall it is simply because I don't know if there's very many people that would buy this that wouldn't be able to fit. Plenty of room in front of the porcelain foot flush toilet as well. Nice residential doors. These doors are very thick. They feel very solid. Coming here into the bedroom area. You can see this has a king-size bed. I thought it would have a queen-size bed. That slide to me didn't look like it was a king-size slide. So that's really nice. Plus, check out the space in front of it. That is huge. Mainly because they put a little bit deeper slide in here. But that is a tremendous amount of space. Part of that is because this is a wide-body floor plan as well. But look at all the cabinets. Everything at the end. You can fit a washer and dryer inside of this cabinet here. It's one of the reasons why they put the vent there. So you would put your washing machine here and your dryer up here. Nice little shelf space here. A lot of lighting coming into this room, which is nice. More wardrobe storage there. This is a very nice bedroom. About six foot six is going to be about as tall as you could be inside of this bedroom. Now, here's some of the magic behind this. I don't think I'll call this a complete two-story unit, but to some people it might be. And having a loft above, only challenge is the fact that they place it above where you sleep, so if you have small kids bouncing around all night, this might get annoying. However, it is a great space. It is the full width of the upstairs. It is about three feet tall. So you have about a three foot tall loft up here. And you could call this a second story because it really is, it's a second floor. Kids can move around in here really easily. If you're in the living room and you want to kind of get the kids away from you while you're talking to your friends or you're watching TV, this is definitely a nice place. It is directly above the master bedroom, so just keep that in mind, though. Very cool floor plan, though. This unit's going to be about $65,000 MSRP. Generally, on something like this, you could probably get it for around the $45,000, maybe $50,000 price range. But... It's definitely worth calling if it's something you're interested in. And a lot of people, I think, are just surprised that they even offer things like this. So if you are living in a coastal community, if you need a home to place on a piece of property you have, maybe a hunting lease, something like that, this is something that's really nice. A lot of room. It's going to feel very residential. And it's something I think a lot of people would enjoy. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.